Have you ever pondered the striking similarities between the ancient city of Babylon and today's internet and AI? In the annals of history, Babylon stood as a symbol of human ambition, a city of grandeur and innovation. Yet, it also represented a hub of moral decay, a place where humanity's darker instincts thrived. Now, let's draw a parallel to the internet and AI, modern symbols of human ingenuity, yet platforms capable of perpetuating the same evils that once pervaded Babylon. Babylon, once a beacon of human achievement, was also rife with corruption, greed, and immorality. Its towering ziggurat, a symbol of human pride and arrogance, reached towards the heavens, a testament to humanity's desire to ascend to the realm of the gods. The city's rulers sought power and control, often at the expense of the common people. Fast forward to our era, the digital age. The internet and AI, much like the ziggurat of Babylon, represent the pinnacle of human innovation. They've revolutionized communication, business, and entertainment, making our world a global village. Yet like Babylon, they have their darker side. They've become platforms for misinformation, cyberbullying, and invasion of privacy. They're tools that can be, and have been, manipulated for control, deceit, and exploitation. The Bible warns of the perils of Babylon, an admonition that resonates with the dangers posed by the internet and AI. Revelations 18 verse 4 echoes a call from heaven saying, Come out of her. This is not merely a call to abandon a city of brick and stone, but a metaphorical plea to distance oneself from environments and systems that breed evil. This is a call that resonates with our time. It's an invitation from the prophets and church leaders to not become entangled in the snares of the internet and AI. It's a call to use these tools responsibly, to not let them erode our values or infringe upon our privacy. It's a call to preserve our humanity amidst the digital noise. In the same way, the leaders of our faith communities, like President Nielsen and other spiritual guides around the globe, echo this urgent call. They implore us to come out of her, to step away from the misuse of the internet and AI, and to use these tools in a way that upholds our shared values of truth, respect, and dignity. In conclusion, while the internet and AI, like Babylon, hold the potential for evil, they are not inherently malevolent. They are tools, and their impact depends on how we wield them. The call to come out of her is a call to discernment, a call to use these tools wisely and responsibly. It's a call to not lose ourselves in the digital Babylon, but to rise above it, using these tools to build a world of understanding, empathy, and love.